visual runes are etched on the slate, forming an array of arcs and circles. Magical energy courses through the slate. You are flooded with understanding. A mystical map glows before you, revealing a Githyanki refuge within a temple at the mountain pass. This must be the crash that Lazel seeks. The slate also reveals the Githyanki's purpose. They are combing the Sword Coast in search of a polyhedric relic of great importance to their queen. Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm! And you! Hope you got a stomach for heights! What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly! Cause it makes me laugh! <laughs> you want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Got much stomach for a fight. Better just put on a show and scare this one off. <sighs> I reckon we could do better than this run, eh? We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to. I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. <clears throat> we... we should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. I saw something that reminded me of... Well, it's private. But then I felt something rise within me, like my blood was on fire. Then it passed. Let's just move along. Time's a rare currency for both of us. Me loose! Oh, Maga Kamara. Those pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. 
Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken. Indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close, 
When you are ready, sound the horn. Oh, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the raiders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them loobies is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove. Behave yourself. Saz is vouching for you. You mess up, you and Saz will get it. That's enough out of you. Come on, gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. <laughs> <sighs> is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. 
A powerful artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I wasn't intending to. Fun. <laughs> Oi! Ain't no party in here! Shake it, Graw! Olak cleared us. Got a visitor for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, one who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving, but trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Well, the Maiden of Pain, Loviata, teaches us that pain is a most powerful and sacred sensation. And should our pain delight her, should we embrace such a gift, she will grant her most sacred of blessings. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Simply face the wall and we can begin. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. <laughs> ha! 
You want more? As you wish, dear one. That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. That's it, dear one! Let Loviata hear you! Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I could feel Loviatar's pleasure with every sting of my scourge. I am proud to have served you this penance. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. What? Think you can do better? <laughs> Go on then, I'm at it. What? You shy or something? Fine. Muck it up, and the drow will have your head. Come on, Crush. There might still be a slurp of ale to be had. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Elson, I... I... I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. He, yes. He should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the Night Song. Brian had instructions, but the, the goblins got him. They, they said they'd eat him. I, I have to go. I have to get out of here. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroa Khan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Ain't polite to stare, Wormwalt. If you ain't got the guts to get branded, clear off.
priestess will sort you out. Only thing she likes more than praying is burning folk. <sighs> now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Ready to clear your head? Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the Absolute. And I'll do the rest. Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. It's all slippery in there. What are you hiding? image of the Mind Flayer reaches out to her from your memories. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? No! You ain't leaving till we get to the bottom of this. You could be dangerous. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds! in there. Sounds about right. Well, you look like you're in one piece. They're just as tadpole as ever. The search continues. There are enough absolutists in this place to fill a reserve trench. One of them must have something interesting to say, right? Let's find out.
My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met. I am Raphael, very much at your service. Why, I never. You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings, rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <laughs> <laughs> 